Hi everyone. Okay, so it's been about eight months since I checked my account. I only started using it again a few weeks ago. So I apologize to everybody who's been sending me comments and uh, a lot of messages I have to read through. And uh, I wasn't trying to ignore anybody because I love you all. I just I haven't been on here and didn't know I had it. So I'm sorry. And uh, I'm going to start answering all your messages and stuff when I'm done with this video. So, some updates is uh, I moved out of my hometown to go to college up north, so I'm in the University of Pittsburgh. I love it up here. I live in the dorm and I uh, get a single room, so that's awesome. And it's been very peaceful up here. Uh, I heard a lot of not so nice things about the place, but uh, completely bogus. Every everyone I met up here has been sweet to me and very supportive. So I love my housemates. We're like a little family unit, and even though uh, I'm the oldest one in the house, the youngest member is like 17, uh, 18, and one's turning 19. I'm turning 25, and let's see, today's the third. Yeah, on the 18th, I'm turning 25. Yeah. You know what? A lot of guys, well, I think people in general, they panic as they get older, but not me. I'm like a fine wine. I get better with age. I also get more handsome, too. <laughs> Alright, so, other stuff. Got a haircut. I lost like 20 pounds, uh, got face piercings now, and a new tattoo. Um, some of, oh well, a lot of you asked me am I going to do more music videos. Yes I will, but when I moved up here I literally had no room to bring my guitar. So hopefully within a few weeks I'll have that and I'll start doing it. My sister got to send it to me. I miss playing so much, and there's a lot of new songs I want to learn. And I started a club up here called Coffee House, and I'm really excited about it. Uh, I did something like it before at Penn State, and this club is focused on building relationships with the community, the school, and that's everybody. And I call it Coffee House because kind of in tribute to the club I was in, the Humanity Society that did an event like this, but. Also because it has a warm, welcoming environment, like a coffee shop. And plus, because we got free coffee and tea and stuff. So, we're going to get that started. Our first event's going to be oh, October 18th. A lucky day. Uh, other news is I'm not majoring in psychology anymore. I'm in computer science now, and uh I really love what I'm doing. It just it comes natural to me. Uh, after I was done working at a like call center for a bank, kind of got sick to death of people screaming at me all day, blaming me that they overspent their money, or then check to see if they had any before making. Uh, thousands of dollars purchases, but I don't know, I just didn't feel my heart in it anymore. I knew that whatever I'm going to do with my life, my career, is helping people and doing something fun, and I can always do something new with it every day, and computers do that for me. I can make websites, make programs. Freaking hate networking though. I mean, I'm fascinated by it that I have to know so many protocols and network layers and uh, or I should say the OSI model. But uh, none of you probably don't want to learn all that. I really don't want to learn it either. I do, but I don't. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I'm doing good in all my classes so far. I have an A in all my classes except for one. I got a B in networking. 
and uh, and stuff. Especially when you get to some masking, some not masking. Yes. And I know you're just loving the Batman shirt right now. Kind of stuff. Uh, my grandmother died today, and uh, I'm taking it surprisingly well. I mean, uh, her and I—I I think we were close, and uh, just with my faith, um, I have a different view on life. I really don't think we should mourn the loss of a life, but to celebrate the life and to me death is not goodbye it's see you later and uh I kinda had a laugh today cause I was praying for her that was my flip flop that kicked it off and cause she's a Jehovah Witness and I'm non-denominational Christian and I believe that I'm going to heaven when I die and she believes that basically there's hardly anyone worthy to go to heaven that we all go to kind of like a spiritual sleep until final judgment and then we'll wake up get the final judgment and live in paradise and rebuild the world and uh, her and I butt heads about that for years and I don't even care if she has a different a different faith than I do, but uh, I kind of always thought it was funny when we did argue, <laughs> and because we're both gonna be like, "Wow, you know, I'm right now, you're right." I don't do that. I don't really say, "Oh, I'm right over you," but uh, sometimes we get in like a, a Bible throwdown. We'll she would say one scripture, I'd say another. And then it would sound like we're contradicting each other, and I don't know. It, it felt like a scripture rock paper scissors sometimes. To put it, I don't know. Uh, if you understand that, then hooray. Uh, so when I was praying, you know that you know her passing was easy and all that, and that uh, she entered the kingdom. Uh, blissfully I said grandma I know you're listening I told you so <laughs> and I'm coming home to you one day too so you gotta wait for me one of the first people who got a, one of the first people there who got to greet me me and all the pet cats I ever had and the dogs not too much of a fan of the hamster we had, but uh, yeah, no, well, I'll be happy to see him too. Ah, uh, so let's see. I'm trying to think of any more updates. No. Can't really think of anything off the top of my head. So. Oh. Go ahead and respond to your email as I'll make more videos when I can. And uh, thank you everyone for you know, still sticking with me, checking on me, sending me your well wishes and stuff, even though I haven't responded to any of you in about eight months. Uh, that's that's the loyalty there. All right, so gotta turn this off. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I probably should have had my glasses on during this. <laughs> Alright, ta-ta.